<laughs> this should be the intro to your video, just me going. <laughs> what did we do to Danielle? <laughs> dun, 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 Why is she out of breath? No one will ever know. Just okay. say, watch this video and find out. Hello! Hi! We are in Pennsylvania. What? But Danielle is here. Hi! She's visiting from Florida. I am. She has another friend here. Yeah, she got a puppy, so I decided to come visit the puppy. Yay! And I was here, and I was like, wow, Olivia lives here. I do! So I was like, let's hang out with her. Yay! <laughs> so we're currently at a place called Pen Caves, yes. which is one of those places where everyone is like, oh my god, you have to go there, you have to check it out. So we decided to do that. So we decided to do that. We're gonna try to do like a boat tour through like the cavern or whatever. I don't know. Well, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but let's, <laughs> let's do it. So, so we we're able to get tickets. Yes. We're doing the cavern tour, cave tour, and then we're also doing a wildlife. Yeah, tour. It, was, it was a pretty good deal to do the combo, so we're like, why not? Why not? We have time to go. Exactly. So, yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, by the way, I got my hair cut. And so did Danielle. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't really know. It's, about, it's like the same. It's not longer than when they saw you last. Yeah. Um, ooh. Oh, yeah, here's the cave. Oh, here we go. Go into the cave. Hold here on. we go. We got an Instagram story. <laughs> but yeah, they said we could film inside. So we'll show you, show you some of that. From the cave, it's like this. Yeah, that's hard. But it was good. Yeah, it was really cool. I had no idea that Nittany was the name of an Indian princess. Yeah, that's what everything is called here. So, oh my God. God. Native American princess. <laughs> Pretty cool in the water. I was freaked out because the um, it's a boat tour, as you saw, but the water's only two to four feet deep. So it's not like 20 feet deep or anything. Yeah, you're like right there. Yeah, we could see at one point like the sand yeah. on the bottom. So but it was really cool. Yeah. We got to see some bats. Mm -hmm. They were sleeping and the whole time I was thinking, don't wake up, don't wake up. Yeah, because all the flashlights are like on them and it's like, I don't want them to wake up They're right gonna now. Wake up. Like, <laughs> Let's not get rabies today. <laughs> I'd rather not. This is, I don't want to live in an episode of The Office. I may be in Pennsylvania, but no. <laughs> This isn't the office. <laughs> Michael Scott's fun run for the cure. Uh, Michael Scott's uh, fun run for the cure of diabetes, or, or not diabetes, rabies. rabies. <laughs> now we have the wildlife tour. And we saw a bus outside. So apparently we're taking a bus. So we'll show you some of the gift shop and then, yeah. But I would recommend this. It's a cool place. So it's Danielle approved. It is Danielle approved. <laughs> and if it's Danielle approved, nothing else matters. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Thank you. 
like you get a two pound meatball thrown in every day or anything. <laughs> That's what they get for food. Our caretakers make down these giant meatballs. Two pounds of meat per wolf. So wow. they, they have a very plush life here. <laughs> they get flea and tick treatment so they don't get all bit up living in the woods. Oh. Here, you want this? You touch it for them? You do it? It's still baby. I want one. No. Oh. <laughs> It's raining, I'm not going to be able to pay attention to them. Living our best life. <laughs> uh, so those are two of our wolves. We have two They're others, so uh, Samson and Reyna. They are the alpha male and female of the pack. Family. They are omnivores, though, which means they'll eat both meat and plants. They prefer meat, hunting things like mice, squirrels, and chipmunks out in the wild. In fact, they can hear a mouse squeak from up to 150 feet away. So, it's <laughs> much later now. Um, Significantly later since we last. It's like almost 10 p.m. The wildlife thing was really cool. So cool. We learned the craziest thing today. So there were foxes and the person was like, do you have any questions? And I was like, I have a weird <laughs> <laughs> On brand, Danielle. <laughs> Stay on brand. I stopped myself. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she had a weird question. I had a weird question. I was like, have any of the foxes been named Todd? Because like in Fox in the House. And she's like, the foxes are new to us. But it's interesting that you say that because a male fox is called a Todd. Fun fact. <laughs> she's like, I literally had never thought about that until you just said that. And I was like, you like how like the two went together. Like, like Disney storytellers. They really think of it all. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, we also think that um, if you do go to Pen, Pen Caves, yeah. you n need to do the wildlife thing too. Because mm -hmm. it wouldn't have really been worth it to just do the cave thing. You gotta do both. You gotta do both. And what's really cool is all the animals were from like we're native to Pennsylvania. Besides rams. <laughs> oh, so they could breed. They yeah. bred them a certain way so that they could survive in this survive climate. Survive in, yeah, but, which Carnegie, I guess, was part of. Yeah, so that's why they have them here. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that was really cool to see. We saw Timberwolves that cry. We saw Timberwolves. And it was doing like paw. Like, they were pawing. They were pawing. And yeah. you're like, like, I was my dog. <laughs> it was a really good tour. It was. It was a good time. So if you're ever in the Penn State area, mm -hmm. it was like 30 minutes away. Yeah. Not a bad drive at all. No, it was really nice. Um, and then we went to Cafe Lamont. Mm -hmm. I've heard. Really nice. Yeah, I've heard it's a good spot to like go and study. And now I realize that like the entire cafe is just people studying. Yeah, that's why it's a good place to study. Is because everyone. <laughs> We felt so awkward talking. Mm hmm Cause like literally everyone else was just I think I have to go my nose. Everyone else was just by themselves. Um, <laughs> like at their computers or like <laughs> going over papers. So like yeah, it was weird for us to like whisper even. I was like, oh I was like, I'm sorry, I'm so loud. <laughs> So we did that and we went to Otto's for dinner. So really on good. Wednesday nights they do like vegetarian vegan specials. Mm -hmm. um, so we had these like mashed potato cheese balls balls that were fried and they were really good. Mm -hmm. And then I got the vegan burger there. It was good. It was Beyond Burger. Yeah, right? it was the Beyond Burger like patty. Mm -hmm. I had a fried chicken sandwich thing. It was okay. I probably wouldn't get it again. But the appetizer I really, really liked. Mm-hmm. It was a good time to have by all. What have you thought about State College? I miss the cold. Oh, she's from Michigan. I am from Michigan. So living in Florida <laughs> is rough. There's no fall. It's just and hot. And then for a little bit, it's cold. Yeah. But then it's hot again. <laughs> and then there's hurricanes. So. And then there's hurricanes. But it's hot during Woo. those hurricanes. Need I needed this trip. It was a much needed trip. So mm -hmm. I'm glad I came. It was a good time to have by all. Yes. <laughs> we I got ate. to do adventures. I got to sleep. Whoa. You guys don't know my life. That's a big <laughs> deal. Wild. Okay, yeah. we're going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what's the fun thing you did this weekend. I look forward to reading that. There so, you go. See you guys later. Have a good night. Keep your mail up. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> Ready? No.